Hi, this is Lee Ellis for another session of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, today is kind of special. It's that time of year when we have graduation and so many people are launching out into their career that it comes to my mind. It comes to your mind. I'm sure there's someone in your family around you that is launching out into a career. Now, there are also many of you who are emerging leaders that you're still working on your career and that plan. So I thought it'd be a good time to address this issue. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but before I became a leadership consultant coach trainer, I was actually into career development. When I retired in 1990 from the Air Force, I joined a not-for-profit organization to help them by developing a career assessment for teenagers. The amazing thing was, as soon as we got it developed, it was the adults that really wanted it more for themselves than the teenagers, so a lot of adults were unhappy in their work. And over the years, two-thirds of our clients those who've used our assessment were adults. Well, we're all still learning about our career and our future, and so I think all the principles here will apply. So let's take a look at it. You know, it's all about choices. Choices determine where we're going to be. They're either good choices or bad choices. And one of the things that's very important is direction determines our destination. All the hard work you've been doing, if it's in the wrong direction, is going to take you not where you want to go, but somewhere you, where you're probably not going to be very happy. So make sure you get clear direction and planning. Well, how do you plan it? Well, it takes a lot of knowledge and information because you are a unique person. Every person is unique, and what works for one person will not work for another one. So some of these uh, things that we're talking about here, information about yourself, what are your talents? What are your strengths, your struggles? What are your passions, your interests? What are your natural skills that come with your talents? And what are your values? What's important? What's your purpose? Those are all unique to you, and you need to know those and work toward that to find that out. As I said, I've been in assessments for 30 years now, and so that's a big part of everything we do, whether it's starting a career or leadership development. You have to know yourself to manage yourself. Then there are things that are universal. And the things that are universal mainly is wisdom. We need wisdom to determine our career and to manage our careers. How do we get wisdom? A lot of that is looking at our values, but it's also connecting with people who are wise and can help us think things through and can tell us their story of what worked for them and what didn't work in terms of the areas of wisdom. So gaining wisdom is going to be a very important aspect of it. And then there's a the whole idea of connections. Staying connected, connected, as I mentioned, to get wisdom from folks, but also to have a network, that network who can connect you to ideas that might fit you in particular, might not fit others, but they recognize in you certain aspects of your talents and your passions, and they can help you network to go in the right direction and maybe introduce you to someone or just give you an idea about what might be a great career field for you. And just remember, Life is hard. There are going to be obstacles. There are going to be challenges. Sometimes the road we go down, we hit a dead end, and that's just the way it happens. The, maybe the company closes and you have to start over again. That happens to everyone. That's why it's so important for you to believe in yourself, but also to be connected to others, because others can help you. They can listen. They can share ideas. They can support you. They can encourage you. They can remind you that uh, this is just part of life, that you're a great person, you have a lot of talents, and you can bounce back, and that next angle that you're going to take with your career is probably going to be better than ever. Most of us have changed career fields several times in our lives, at least uh, a minor change in direction, if not a major change, and that usually because became, came about because something happened along the way that was out of our control. And that gave us, though, the opportunity to look around in a little bit different angle and see something that might even be a better fit. So stay positive, stay positive, be resilient, stay connected, and make good choices. By getting great information, we have that leadership assessment we use so often, and there are other assessments out there that you can use. And also understanding who you are, what is unique about you, and how can you make wise choices as well as informed choices. Well, when you do that, things are going to work out and you'll bounce back and have a great career. Well, we wanted to answer a couple of questions that come up uh, in this type of discussion frequently. 
And so here they are. You know, there are going to be roadblocks and dead ends in our life and career. And we have to be prepared and expecting that. That's not unusual. It happens to most everyone. But sometimes those are the best things that could ever happen. I know people who've been fired and actually turned into a different direction. And they were thrilled after they got into their new location because it was so much of a better fit. And we all have to keep that in mind and stay connected, stay positive, and just know that you can work through it one step at a time, start over with same ideas you've always had, know yourself, stay connected. Well, this is the question I struggle with the most because I like to give my ideas and opinions to others, and quite often they've been unsolicited. And the one thing that I have learned and have to keep learning over and over is when you do give unsolicited feedback, make it positive. Affirm the person's strengths, affirm their talents, affirm the positive things that you see that are legitimate, that are realistic about them. And when you do that, you energize them, you lift their spirits, and you help them think and look in the right direction. Whereas the negative feedback probably from you, if you're in a position uh, of being their manager or their parent or friend, is probably not going to work very well. So keep it positive and look for specific things that you can show them that will uh, capitalize on their full potential. That will work. Well, we hope this is helpful to you and use it to help others. And be sure and check out our blog because we go into more detail on some of the specifics of career planning in the blog. Look forward to seeing you again next month.